Okay. I'm not aware of this being on any other trailers on the market. Uh, we love it. Uh, this whole piece is welded on is the hitch itself. But instead of this whole piece also being the hitch, this is separate and it bolts on. Now that's a great feature for a number of reasons. One is you can adjust it up and down to fit your SUV or your truck. If you've got a four-wheel tr truck, obviously it's going to be higher. If you've got an SUV that's maybe not four-wheel drive truck or a truck that's two-wheel, it's going to be lower. So you can adjust this up and down instead of buying all these slide-in ball mount drops to be able to fit. And if somebody, again, if you're in trouble out in the road and somebody comes to pick you up and they're not matching the height, you can adjust that up and down and fix it. The other nice feature about this is that if it breaks, I mean, if it gets damaged, somebody plows in the back of it, you don't have to rip the whole hitch off to fix it. You can just take this off and buy another one and put it in, or you can buy another type of hitch, like a bulldog hitch, and slide it in, which has a little sleeve, which some people like. So there's a lot of advantage, advantages to that. Um, we do want to show you that it, they all come with standard weight distribution brackets. Uh, they take weight distribution bars. We really encourage uh, you to use those. Um, they really take a uh, help uh, increase the um, weight capacity of your hitch and they s transfer the weight from the truck to the trailer and give you a much better ride. But there are articles and more information on our website about that. Another standard feature is the diamond plate gravel guard. We run it up pretty high than most people do because you know rocks don't just end here sometimes when they they th get thrown up they might hit up here so uh, that protects the front of the trailer and it, it looks nice too so as we come around we've got tie hooks for I say tie hooks but um, ties for the door so you can tie it back spare tire uh, we have a spare tire cover for it uh, it's not on it right now uh, we've got it in the dressing room. Uh, she just got this trailer, so we haven't done that yet. It comes also with aluminum rims on the uh, on the tires. Aluminum rims, of course, aren't going to rust over the years, and they look nice, and they really just give the uh, trailer that um, very prestigious look, which we really like about the trailer. Now, we, the axles on the trailer, we have the best axles available, which are Dexter axles. But uh, including that, or we, we have the, uh, I say including, but we have the never adjust axles, which actually are forward adjusting uh, brakes. And what that means is they're constantly adjusting so that they don't get sloppy and they're staying good all the time. Um, a lot of people don't realize that um, you have to have your brakes adjusted if you don't have that. 200 miles after you get your trailer and probably maybe another two every 2,000 miles after that but with the never adjust they're always working just right and you don't have to worry about it also you can see the outside ties we've got one high and one low now uh, obviously this is for the horse it's right in the right position for most horses from 14 on up to 18 hands um, you don't want them too high and too low to cause some neck problems if they jerk back. Uh, the high one is to hang a hay bag uh, so that the horses can eat out here comfortably. Uh, another turn signal, of course, on this side to match the other one. Nice and big. Again, very easy to see from the uh, cab of your tow vehicle. And, of course, um, we do belong to the NATM, which is the uh, National Association of Trailer Manufacturers, and they go around to, to the plants and inspect everything and, and approve the trailers for safety and a various and construction and things like that. Um, now we're going to show you the dressing room. does have a tie back. I'm going to tie it back. And I'm going to take this box out of here. <laughs> Uh, first thing I want to show you is we got this thing here, which is called a brush tray. So it, it uh, takes all your brushes and, and fly spray bottles, things like that. And of course you can get an option one, which a lot of people do, and put it up a little bit higher so they have more room because you never have enough. Uh, take a look at this floor. Uh, this is 
raised four inches above the horse floor. Now what that does, it keeps any urine and manure from ever really coming down in here. Uh, but the uh, really nice feature is that there's no lip on this dressing room floor and it's very easy to sweep stuff out of it rather than have a little lip and you have to use a dustpan all of that kind of stuff. Um, this uh, customer put an optional rubber matting on it, which is done more and more lately because if you're in a lot of mud and stuff like that, it's easy to wash out or pull the mats out and just clean it up. If you'll take a look around the corner, you'll see that uh, we have standard carpet on the wall. And what the carpet does, as you can see, the bridle hooks are standard, by the way. Um, the carpet, when you hang up bridles on those hooks, they don't clang against the wall, scare the horse, they don't nick up the wall. Um, the uh, saddle racks, I'm going to step in here for a minute, <laughs> are easy to remove. There you go, just like that. You can raise them, put one up here, one here. If you want an extra saddle rack, we give one per horse, in this case two. You could get four total, or you can move these up and down. Um, if you look on the floor, we have the breakaway battery system, and you can read about that in an article and why the breakaway battery is important, but we keep it inside. You'll see a lot of people do that on the outside, and those boxes with the sunlight and everything can really deteriorate over the years. And right next to it, we have a fuse block, and uh, that really makes it simple to track down wiring in case there ever is an issue later on or a short, or uh, if something happens to your truck, uh, it'll blow a fuse, and you can kind of track that down a lot easier. Now, I'm going to step back out. <laughs> One thing I did not mention before, and I'm going to mention it real quick, quick, is inside the trailer, there's actually four lights, you know, one at each horse's head and one in the back. Usually, there's only one in the trailer. If you're lucky, there might be two. While we're still on the dressing room, you can see there's four windows in here. The front window's open. You can bring some airflow through there through the bulkhead window which opens and give your horses even more ventilation. Uh, the four windows would be the bulkhead wall, the two nose windows, and I'm going to climb back in because a helicopter may be landing here in a minute. <laughs> but there's a standard window in the uh, dressing room door as well, so that's what the four windows are. So there's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 windows in, in this trailer. Okay, so if you're like us and you love your horses, what we tried to do today is not tell you why our trailer are safe, but to show you why your trailer is safe. So if you want to go out in the road, have some fun with your horses, and not worry about them being safe, this might be the trailer for you.